Okay, my first run at making an ABC board did not go well. So I'm going to try it again here. And uh, a couple of things I learned. You do not want sharp corners. You have to have an eighth inch radius uh, at all uh, sharp corners. Uh, or at all uh, turns, I'll put it that way maybe is a better way to put it. So like right here is too sharp. Uh, this is too sharp. These M's, N's, W, V, all of them. You cannot have that sharp angle. So I went to work and, and took a font. Oh, and the other thing is these are too small. Um, I, I, I made the letters bigger this time around. So I took a font and uh, kind of blew it up. Went in and radiused all the corners. And uh, I think I've got something that will work now. And the other thing is, I'm going uh, to make it out of hardwood this time. And then I can take and run this through my planer and take off all the fuzzies. This, this had to be done by hand. This is all hand sanded, which was kind of a, a pain to do too. So I'm going to try this and uh, see what happens. So again, I should say again, I won't bore you with the setup here um, and, and the cutting, but what I'm gonna do is uh, route out the negative space and I'm gonna go uh, 20 or uh, yeah, 25 thousandths outside the line. And then I'll show you when I cut the letters I should be able to cut those at actual size and they should drop in and be, be able to be pulled out without any trouble at all. So I went to 3 16 of an inch depth in two passes. Uh, but when I started to do that on the bottom here, my the router just got really jumpy. So I got a couple of outside the line jumps here, especially on the Y. Uh, the T and the Y. The L, I, I did some things to maybe auto-correct it. I don't know. But what I did was um, I did a finishing pass on the T first and then I was going to do the pocket. And I think that had something to do with it. I'm not sure. I shut the router down, restarted, tried it on the Y, same thing. Then I decided to do the pocket first and then the finishing pass and that seemed to work out better. So I did not have any other uh, hiccups except one right here on the U. And uh, other than that I think I'm in pretty good shape. You can see where I missed a little bit on the pocket cut here. I'll get in there with the chisel and get that bottomed out. At any rate the board looks pretty good except uh, I forgot to round the E on, on Tyler here. I forgot to bring this, this uh, geometry down here. So this is square and so is the L uh, in both, I think. I mean, no. no, this is rounded up here. I forgot to bring that geometry down here as well. So uh, I'll have to do a little bit of cleanup here, I think. We'll see how the letters go in. This one will be easy. I'll just miter that corner. These probably will be easy as well. At any rate, I'm going to cut some letters. And then the other thought I had was, as I was doing this down here, I had cut away so much of this tape that I'm wondering if that's what caused my issue. So maybe this piece of tape could have been above the letters. Um, maybe I could have spaced them in such a way as to leave enough room for one piece of tape between the letters. That might have helped as well. Um, at any rate, I'll, I'll deal with this. We'll see if I can't massage that a little bit to make it look better.
All right, pretty good. Uh, you know, like I said, except for these little hiccups down here. I like the way it works. Thank God he doesn't have uh, double letters in his name, I guess. I'd have to cut an extra one. There you go. My thought is I'll I'll finish the board with just like uh, some shellac or something and then I'll spray paint these uh, MDF spray paint them black and I think that'll look pretty nice oh yeah and by the way I did get away with the sharp corners uh, down here I didn't have to do anything so, uh, but I would prefer that they'd been rounded. At any rate, there you go. I'll show you the finished product when I get all done. Oh, and by the way, this is not a hiccup from the router. That's a nail hole. These boards were salvaged from something. I don't remember, but I, I put them together. I think it was a trim board of some kind. But that's a nail hole right there. That goes all the way through. So, only hiccups were right here and here. Okay, I decided on about an inch and a quarter reveal all the way around. And the reason is that where this nail hole is, I can eliminate it first of all, but there's a crack right here. And it's going to be right on that cut line. And hopefully when I make that cut, I won't have any uh, defects this side of the line so I'll find that out here in a minute but uh, that got my line up here where I need to cut so I'll trim that back and here's the cut on this on the uh, right side and here's the cut on the left side so a nice little Christmas project turned out nice a little spray paint and it's good to go thanks for watching